basically we are here for on the challenges media face in South Sudan covering like reporting on particular issues that are like current issue now what is happening in South Sudan where where like most of the people like most of uh, most of the journalists feel like like their voices are not being heard. Uh, my name is uh, Samir Paul. I'm working reporter for CTV Citizen Television based in Juba, South Sudan. Uh -huh. My name is Zainab Mohamed Saleh and I come from Sudan. And yet I'm for a different mission. Um, I'm Joseph Nashon, a South Sudanese, uh, a writer to the Niles and as well as uh, Gurtong Trust Media. Uh, my area of working on issues which are related to gender, uh, human rights issues, and cultural issues. It's not easy to, to get information. It is not easy to publish what you know. I mean, the censorship, preprint censorship, and self-censorship as well. When we talk to the reason complex, so it has put, uh, put much of our uh, uh, journalists who are always uh, vocal on the chain of the government and all this, maybe uh, uh, particularly myself. So I was based in Bentiu. So previously I was uh, under detention, arrest by the former governor of the United States, Abandon. I've been arrested twice in Sudan. Once in Mujlet, four hours, and once in Khartoum. We were about 64 journalists. We went to protest against a law, against the press law in 2009. Even our own people need to be told as well that this person is not bad. This person is good. He's here to speak out your voice. He's here when, for example, if I write something, 1,011 or million people are reading. So I am actually saying what uh, one million would have said. So also when, we, when the, the people are aware, then that means the work goes on smoothly. And then the journalists will also, you know. But now one is our own leaders look at us as bad people. I'm choosing the photos that I took in South Sudan in many areas. Uh, in Bentiu, in Bor, in Juba, about the, 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 the conflict that happened. The people, uh, they ran from their house, they ran to uh, UN bases in that area. So many photos uh, about the conflict. I remember uh, I work uh, in a camp with some of women and children. They don't have uh, logistic support, uh, and children are suffering from diseases. Uh, they didn't get uh, enough medicine or treatment. Also, no food, no water. I would say it's the worst. It's the recent one has really touched my heart, and my emotions were really touched. It has really affected me emotionally and psychologically. I was the one who was filming that, like people like being killed in the hospital, like people like burned. They were the flesh was just scattered all around. So. Man, fuck this job. It's not a good job, man. Well, you have to fix yourself. Like now, if 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 I make this story and then maybe it goes to the Nile and then maybe some other people say, okay, Bingo is supporting the government. It, it is challenging for me because well, say what seriously, yeah, because I mean, say what people tell you. So even when you go into the definition of the coup, or whether it was no, a coup or not, the common man does not mind about that. What he minds about is his security and his development in terms of access to services. Here, there are certain uh, piece of stories, special, you know, like you talk about the culture of the community where you come from. Roses are harvested on a daily basis. Also, I learned uh, from the documentary about flowers, dangerous flowers, uh, that we have big uh, role to do and duty for us as journalists to the community. I learned uh, to focus on my job 
us uh, I learned how to be patient I will be jobless if there is no denials because after the government closed our newspaper I became almost jobless because they is denial they supported me and um, they are really professional they don't they don't have censorship at all they publish the articles as it they pay for us um. as much as you want a journalist to tell the stories to report about your country to report about issues in your country so the well-being of them is actually as important as the news you wanted to tell so there is no way you say that the news is important and, and the person who is, who, is, who is doing that thing is not important. So the well-being of journalists is very, very important for the coexistence, for the country, like for the, for, the, for the story to be well told, they have to be taken care of, they have to be protected so that they can tell better stories.